The baby one is my favorite. This one's so good. Oh my god, Becky, look at her butt. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Five Fine has sent over the Amplagain SC3 mixer. And this thing, for the price, let me just go ahead and say, this thing is 50 US, $50 US. Uh, we're going to talk about how good or bad or whatever it is that we get out of this XLR mixer. Connect your XLR microphone to your computer for $50 and get all of this. Let's talk about if it's any good. Let's get into it. Just for transparency, Fifine did send this product for review, but no money changed hands and they are not sponsoring this video and they have no opportunity to influence or impact this video in any way. I have full control over it. But this video does have a sponsor and it's Lightstream and we'll talk about them later in the video. We're gonna go ahead and unbox this Fifine Ampli Game SC3 and go ahead and see what's all inside. I've got two camera angles. I've actually got this one set up over here. Hello, hello. By the way, I just got a brand new camera. This is the Sony FX30 with the Sigma 16. Um, the lens didn't change, but 4K30. What are your thoughts? We're recording in like a picture profile. We're S-Log3 right now. It's pretty mint. Tell me if you like it down below. All right, let's go ahead and unbox this. If there's a glare, I'm sorry. Uh, but let's go ahead and get in here. Um, there is a user manual, user guide that folds out into a whole bunch of stuff. Holy crap. Just look. There is so much and it keeps going. Holy crap. Just from the front of it, I'm just gonna go ahead and tell you the things that I know it can do, okay? Not only can we connect microphones, computers, laptops, headset microphones, XLRs, it has phantom power for condenser mics. You can use this for two PC setups. Um, connect multiple things to it. It's kind of crazy that you're able to get everything that this thing does, and hopefully we can get into most of it uh, but really what we're going to do is see how good the preamp is. We're going to connect it with the Fifine K688 from them. Uh, we're going to see if it will power the Shure SM7B, if it has enough volume to be able to do that. And we're going to test it on Mac today because we know it's going to work on Windows, but will it work on Mac? And uh, it actually has how to set it up on a Mac on here. So really curious and we're going to see how this goes. Inside the rest of the box is basically just a whole bunch of stuff. That is cable. What do we got? This is a TRS, TRS to TRRS. That means that it has the two lines to the three lines, but this is for connecting a phone. Uh, pretty sure this is the USB cable, All right? Oh, that's good. So they gave us USB-C on one side. So if it's not gonna break focus on my face, USB-C on one side, and then they gave us a combo USB-C, USB-A cable, which is really good, especially for those of you who are Mac or, or want to be able to use a USB-C cable. This is really cool. And then we have the mixer itself. You can go ahead and see it over on this screen. Really nice tactile movement. You can really tell. Uh, here we go. This is the Fifine Ampligame SC3 in all its glory. Um, it is very much a plastic build. Very much feels plastic. I mean, you're paying $50, but it's not like cheap plastic. It does have kind of a, a hard feel to it. What do you need, baby? What happened? You want a chocolate pop tart? You want to say hey to your friends first? Yes. Okay. All right. Do you see yourself up there? Can you say hello? Hello, friends. Hello, friends. What do you think? What do you think of this right here? What color is this? Black. It's not. Well, there's black on it. But what, what's its main color? White white. Is this cool? Is that fun to play with? Do you have no response? The race cars are racing. <laughs> he thinks that the faders are race cars and he's pushing them up and down. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's go get you. Let's go get you what you need. Okay. Cause you got to get back in bed. I have to do my children. Okay. Go downstairs. Go grab one for mommy. Okay. Love you. Yeah. Shut my door and then run downstairs and let mommy get you one. Okay. God, I love that kid. Oh, all right. So what we can see is on the front of this device we have right here, this is going to be your microphone. And then I'm just trying to figure it out too as well. So you have your microphone, your line in, your headphone, 
and then your line out to be able to actually send this out. That's why you can do two PC setups. You can run line ins and line outs to be able to connect things through this, be able to control it all wherever you need. It's really kind of a versatile product for $50. Um, and if you're trying to get into using XLR and upgrading, it seems like the perfect alternative. I haven't listened to it yet. Let's do that. On the front, we also have other things. There's a 48 volt button right here. And then we also have something for uh, like electric, changing your voice to different pitches. I'm interested because I see like A, B flat, B, C, D flat, D. This is really cool. Uh, music days are coming back. Um, change your RGB color. There's different voices, male, female. They didn't put female on there, but it's enough letters to put monster. So there's a, uh, they put a typo on there. Take a look. It says male, female. <laughs> <laughs> so I find what do you do it monster baby elder and then there's four custom buttons however I don't think that there's any software that comes with this so I'm curious to see what these custom buttons are we'll figure it out on the back it seems like a really simple interface there's just the combo XLR and then the quarter inch jack the slider for dynamic and condenser I'm assuming that's for 48 volt then it just looks like um you know headphone plugs for everything else and then obviously the USB on the end to be able to connect it all so let's plug it in. I'm gonna do a plug in directly in for the Fifine K688 for XLR into this. Uh, I'm gonna run my headphone out and I think this just controls the volume of everything, like your head, headphone volume, the line in coming in and out. I'm just curious how it manages all of it into the computer. So I'm gonna plug it into the MacBook. We're gonna see how it goes. I wanna interrupt and tell you about our sponsor for today's video, Lightstream. Lightstream is a cloud-based streaming service where you can stream directly from your console to Lightstream and then they will re-encode your stream with professional overlays. Things like stream elements, rainmaker.gg, a whole bunch of things like videos and graphics you can put onto your stream and never have to use a streaming PC to do these things. Right now, you can get 25% off your first three months by using my coupon code DarkenedCyrus. So make sure you go ahead and visit the link in the description to go ahead and order this. And thank you to Lightstream for sponsoring this video. Okay, we are currently screen recording the Mac. I've just connected it. Um, this thing, look guys, I'm just gonna show the screen over there. I've got the kind of the gamma turned down and hopefully it is focused on it so you can see it. Look at the RGB. If I press this button, it goes between like light blue, it'll fade. It'll walk up all of the colors. It's so neat. Solid red, yellow fade, greens, blues. Um, just like a full rainbow effect, kind of just a fading. And it's not just that, there's an RGB on the bottom here. Oh, sorry. There's an RGB on the bottom too that also works and fades in between all of these. It's absolutely bonkers. Let me get back to like a rainbow. Yeah, look at this. I'm really impressed. You get that much control. Sorry, I'm focusing so you guys can see, but look, look at all of that control in this. The question is, how does it work and does it work well? So we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna click allow and it's, it's pulling in audio from somewhere. I'm not really sure. Oh, I think it's pulling it from here. Okay, all right, cool. So hopefully we can go ahead and connect a microphone. It says we can just connect it through settings. Uh, let's go to audio, and then it says, ooh, Fifine SC3. We click OK. Obviously, it hasn't picked up. Here's the mic button. Oh, the actual receiver there. Holy crap. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and increase inside of OBS, and I'm about 90% volume right now, and we're about like negative six. And I love the fact that there's an indicator over here. That is so cool. All right, so I'm recording my sound right now. I can't hear it. Let me plug in my headphones. Now I can't hear anything, but if I hit mic, ooh, and I turn that up. Oh, that is real time. Oh, that is real time mic monitoring. Holy crap. I mean, obviously I'm clipping sometimes. Let me turn a filter or a limiter back on this so I don't clip, just because I'm not used to this mixer just yet. And I wanna make sure I'm not clipping out. All right, so this is real-time monitoring. I'm, I've cranked up the microphone or the headphones for this. If you can see, this is headphones and it is cranked all the way. And if you just check this button for mic monitor, it turns off the mic monitoring and it's everything that's going to your headset. Oh, this is, 
This is bonkers, guys. All right, so this is the Fifine SC3 mixer, and I've already gotten it connected and tried to play with it for a little bit. And I just want to show you the stuff that I have found. First of all, if you can go ahead and see in my little side view here, hopefully I have it uh, in focus. So hopefully you can see that. Uh, I have everything kind of already set up here, and I just wanted to walk you through the interface. The first interface is actually the mic itself, and I actually have OBS also recording this. So you can see what it what is like, and the audio you're getting is actually from OBS through this XLR microphone. That's how I'm capturing it. I'm just capturing the screen. Uh, but we're through XLR right now, but you could also just plug in a headset like this HyperCloud 2s. You could just use this and actually have your headset mic plugged in and then do your like, you know, your three ringed cable, your TRRS. You can plug it into the headset port and actually capture directly from your headset into this, into OBS to be able to do a whole bunch of switching lines, ins and outs. I'd say this is a, as a really cool thing we could probably use for even like an Xbox piece to be able to use the microphone as your like as, as your mic, like a nice mic. I'm gonna have to do some testing. But anyway, I see some really good opportunities with this. Anyway, so on the back there's a line in and out to be able to connect other devices like a, like a computer or a phone and be able to go out to another device. Uh, but then you have also the headphone port where you can actually turn your headphone volume up and down. That's actually what you've plugged in. And it's the headphone port if you don't want to use a microphone on your headset. So if you want to just do that. But it does have a button. You can click this and it'll turn off and on real-time mic monitoring. Real-time, not delayed. This is what's so cool. Um, I didn't expect it to be real-time and it's in both ears. It feels really nice. It's full. Uh, and then the rest of it is just kind of RGB stuff. So if I press this button, we can switch RGB. Let me turn that off so you can see. It'll fade between a bunch of different colors. It'll walk up all of the RGB. Look at this. How cool is that? Um, reds, greens, it even has an LED, like an RGB piece at the bottom. Um, it's a lot brighter than what you're probably seeing on the screen just because I have a whole bunch of studio lights. Um, but uh, it's it's pretty cool. I'm going to turn mic monitoring back on. So there's a phantom power button here at the top. There's an electric button. I'm curious to see what this does. Let's do it. Now I'm singing at D flat, D, A flat, so apparently. Ooh. Oh, it, it's a pitch corrector. Oh, and it actually controls inside that key. You can auto-tune yourself. Ah, that's so stupid. <laughs> All right, so I think you press and hold. Yeah, it turns it off. Uh, there's a change voice button. Ooh, I'm in, it's apparently this is what the male voice is. And apparently, this is what the female, the female voice is. <laughs> the robot voice. Monster voice. <laughs> the baby voice? Oh my god, this is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this one's good. Oh my god. And then there's the elder one. Ooh. Uh. Elder and male are not too much different. Femal. This is the femal button. Female. The baby one is my favorite. This one's so good. Oh my god, Becky. Look at her butt. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> What am I doing with my life? Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, it has custom A, B, C, and D buttons. I'm not really sure what they do. I'm going to refer to the manual and we're going to see what custom A, B, C, and D. Oh, so you can do this. So let me let me go back to the... Let me go back to the baby and have a press and hold. Uh, subscribe to Dark and Cyrus. Ew, ew, ew. If I press that button, oh. So let me turn that off. I'm going to press that button. Subscribe to Dark and Cyrus. Ew, ew, ew. <laughs> Subscribe. Subscribe to Dark. Oh my God, it actually saves it. So you can do, like, you can obviously play something on your computer, press and hold and record it. This is funny and bad and funny at the same time. <laughs> okay. All right, and I mean, that's that's pretty much it and straightforward. 
Uh, but the question is, can it power an SM7B? So let me let me pull that over. Um, it gets up to like a normal speaking, like negative twelve, negative thirteen. It doesn't tell you exactly how much gain this provides. Um, but I'm gonna guess this is around like fifty five or so, or fifty gain, fifty decibels of gain because I'm maxed out here, and I could probably boost it in OBS. But this is me eating the microphone just to be able to get to like negative nine. So I don't think it's going to power the SM7B. I don't think that it has enough gain to power this. So if you're going to get this and you have an SM7B, I would make sure you have something like a cloud lifter, um, especially if you want that. If not, um, yeah, uh, you're probably not shopping for this $50 device for uh, you know a $400 microphone. But if you're trying to upgrade something like the uh, you know K688 or the AM8 or anything like that, yeah, this this really is impressive. Okay, so the five fine. Ampligame SC3. The question is, do I think that it's worth the value? Should you pick this up and is it good? If you have a budget microphone like the K688, the Meono mic, any of the other Fifi mics that have XLR, this is a really good way to upgrade to, to use XLR and to get some other really cool functions like having the opportunity to do recorded playbacks on your custom buttons, to be able to do 48 volt if you ever needed it or wanted a condenser microphone, all these other voice things on the device plus RGB and it does. Look at the RGB if I actually like make it to where you can see the colors. It is really nice guys. And real time mic monitoring. I'm really impressed. And again, I did all this testing with my MacBook it connected to there, which means that it actually doesn't need software. And that's another thing. A lot of mixers need a software to be able to control stuff. Uh, this one's Dutton. It's literally just plug, you get the one microphone input, and then everything plays through that already. So you don't get a lot of the granular control with something like a Wavelink or like the Go XLR, but you gotta remember, this is $50. If I find I'm really impressed that you could package all of this. Also in this white body, I love it white by the way. Um, you can package it all for $50. It feel, I mean it's plastic, but it feels like nice plastic. Combo jack. You can also plug in your headset and do your headset mic as well. So if you wanted to upgrade early before a microphone, you could. I really think this can have some really cool implications for like consoles to be able to run your microphone through your console. So we're gonna do some testing and maybe a future video on that. Let me know down below if you wanna see that. But for 50 US, Five Fine, I think you knocked it out of the park. If you want to see some other things by Five Fine, so maybe Five Fine mic reviews, etc., whatever the case, I'll put some on the screen right now. Uh, anyway, thank you to Five Fine for sending this over for review, and uh, yeah, we'll catch you in the next one.